Hello, Mr. Dan, and this is my video about my knowledge on light rays and reflecting off a flat mirror. So, first of all, I will select one point on the dog, and so that point will be in red, it will be his ear red right here. So what I will do with this is I will take a line, and this will be a ray, and I will reflect it off the surface. And so I will draw now draw the normal line. The normal line is an imaginary line that just helps you figure out the angles you need to draw the incident ray. So I took out a protractor to figure out the angle. I put it here. And we flip it. We can now figure out the angle. So the angle is approximately. Let me, show, let me just adjust this a bit. It's about 15 degrees. A little bit under 15. And so now I'll take this. I'll flip it back. And I will place it there and draw the incident ray at 15 degrees. At about here. I will take it about here, about at 15 degrees. I will continue the line like that. Now I will finish off the line on the other side. So I will connect like that. And I shall finish off the line here. That I'll, I shall just remove the protractor and this line here. And now I will do another example using that same point. So this example, the ray will reflect off of here. And now I shall draw the normal one. That normal line messed up a bit. So here is the normal line. About there. So I will take out the protractor and now measure the angle again. So the angle of this one is approximately 20.5 degrees. I will take it and I will rotate it upside down and I shall draw the incident ray. So, about 20.5 is right here. And now, I will just remove the protractor, and I will follow through with this line. And so, the person will be looking from here to see the ear, and they will also be looking from here to see there. This here and this here are both the incident rays, and they will be seeing the ear over here. This ray here and this one right here are the reflected rays. Now, I will choose another point, which I will do with blue, and it will be the foot down here. And I will draw another ray. So this first one ray will go like this. I will now draw the normal line. So that's about the normal line. Using the protractor, I will measure the angle once again. The angle is 21 degrees again, surprisingly. Okay. And so I will rotate this. And now uh, measure 21 degrees and draw the incident ray. So 21 degrees is exactly here. So I will just remove the protractor and I will follow through with the ray.
takes you to both there. And now, I will draw one more example with this point. This example will be from here, and it will be a larger example, a larger reflected angle, and instant angle. So now I'll draw the normal one. And put it here. So using the protractor once again, I will figure out the reflected angle. This is there. Rotate this, and the angle is 33 degrees. And so I will now rotate back slightly moving, rotate it back forward, and draw a ray at 33 degrees. This is the incident ray. This one is a bit off. I shall draw another one. Now, I will just fix this one up to 33 degrees. I will remove the protractor and this one here. And I will follow through with the ray. Now I have four rays, and the person would be looking from through here or through here to see the dog's foot. Here's the first incident ray. Here's this other one. This one right. Oh, excuse me. This ray right here is one of the reflector rays, and this one right here is the other reflector ray. Now I will take the dog and I will flip him. Oh, undo that. I will copy him over here, and now I will flip him. Now that I've flipped him, I will place him right approximately where he should be. So it should approximately be right about here. And I will just adjust these last few rays. Make sure they're in line. And so that is straight. And so here you can see the reflected image of the dog. Now I will talk to you about salt Lee. So the letters are S, A, L, T, and L. So S stands for size. So size of the image stays the same, both once reflect on the reflected side and on the real side. So the size stays the same. A stands for attitude, attitude, or orientation. And so the image is still facing upwards, and so it has not been altered at, based on the orientation or attitude. And now, I will take L, and L stands for location. Oh, that's a my mistake. Location. And location, the dog is the same distance on both sides of the mirror. So that has not changed. And T stands for type. So the dog on this side over here is virtual, and on the sides here. So it is a virtual image. And LI stands for lateral inversion. And so the dog is laterally inverted, 
it is completely f flipped horizontally, and so it is laterally inverted. And so that's our presentation. Thanks for staying for watching.